Hey guys, it's Tony with the Code Guys, and today I'm going to show you how to build a mesh in Google SketchUp and import that into Second Life with the new mesh features. Um, it's really fun, it's really easy, it's probably um, quickly become my favorite thing to do inside Second Life. Um, it really does allow people that um, haven't really been able to grasp the 3D um, technologies and the limitations uh, of other softwares. Um, this really gives you the ability to create. And um, so, that saying, that being said, I'm going to jump right in and build a model for you. It's just going to be a very simple stair model. Um, if you don't have Google SketchUp, it's easy to get. Just Google the, the word SketchUp for both Mac and PC. I'm running it on the Mac, but um, I have run it on the PC. It works just the same. So you're going to use this rectangle tool in in sky to, excuse me, inside of SketchUp to draw a rectangle on the floor. Then use the extrude tool to pull that rectangle up. Then uh, Using the um, rectangle again, you're going to find the midpoint of your your rectangle and you're going to extrude yet again and this will be um, half halfway of your halfway point of your stairs. So then just kind of do that methodology again and find your midpoint. And if you just hover the rectangle tool on the stair, um, it will find the midpoint of these um, faces for you. And just drag this out. Makes a nice looking stair. Do the same thing with the top stair. Just drag down, find the midpoint. It will lock itself by default. And use your extrude tool, which is the block with the arrow pointing up and pull that out a little bit and you have a nice stair. It took, what, 45 seconds to make or a minute to make if I wasn't talking. So that's just like a regular stoop um, like you have in front of every home uh, or maybe not every home but a lot of homes. So um, that's ready for exporting into Second Life. So you just go to SketchUp file export and then you're going to export the 3d model and just name it whatever but make sure that the format you use is collada file okay so after you export it and i'm not going to export this one because i've already exported it you go to your second life um, and which i have loaded in the background so um get to a point where get get to a buildable land and go build upload and then you're going to upload model then quick find your I named mine stairs.dae choose that and use the um, magnifying glass that shows the the uh, stairs in this upload window so I'm not going to go into detail on um, all of these settings for level of detail physics or modifiers right now um, because A, I haven't really um, discovered what those all do, I haven't read the wiki enough, and there's not been a whole lot of information I've seen published yet, so um, that or I, had ju I just haven't read it. Um, name your model under the upload model um, dialog. And then you want to, I just leave these at default, hit calculate weights and it's going to tell you, tell me 11 linden to upload, which is a little bit more than a regular sculpt map, which is one more linden specifically than a sculpt map. But um, this is a pretty simple model. So upload that. I won't do that because I already have. And go to your inventory and it will be named whatever you call the model. So. Um, in my situation, it was called stairs. So, zoom in pretty well because um, you want to see the model um, with the level of detail at high and just resident in the world. Um, if you do pan out, 
um, you will see you'll lose the um, detail of the object based on the level of detail and um, I don't really know um, what settings to tweak yet so um, I can't really help you in that regard but um, in a future video I will dis discover and uh, document that for you so um, here's my stair it works just like any other prim I mean you can lower it into the ground uh, you can color it you can texture it um, it see uh, there, there's what I'm talking about with the level of detail you pan out um, and it will kind of collapse on itself with the vertices but um, the larger and these things get really big um, I mean this I, I don't I haven't uh, I don't know if I can really I mean this it just gets huge so <laughs> it's a really huge set of stairs so that is my uh, tin linden uh, tutorial on how to bring a mesh into Second Life. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Um, this has been my tutorial on how to bring a mesh from Google SketchUp into Second Life. Uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment and please subscribe to keep up with what we're doing in both Second Life, our uh, Zorilla Game Design Studios, and um, our continual um, Minecraft series where we teach you how to do the basics of Minecraft. So um, please leave us any feedback and let us know what you would like to see in future videos. So take care. This is Tony from the Code Guys signing out.